quick poll who is against the parkway. And then put your hands down who is for the parkway. Okay. Um, wanted to do that. Thank you. We've been talking about this for years. I've been on council for seven years, and I don't think we've ever gone this in depth. So I think it's a really good thing that we're doing this. And maybe that's just because the expenditure is a little bit higher than it has, a lot higher than it has been in the past. And there's kind of this sense of inevitability. I also think that there's more residents in the area too, and there's more concern uh, just by volume that way. And so that kind of brings us here too. Uh, and it's kind of hard for politicians or anybody really in this position to kind of discern between whether the concerns are with the roadway versus the health aspects. Because I know some people, they just don't want the roadway, so they talk about the health aspects and, and use that. And so it was good to have CDPH here, you know what I'm talking about, be here <laughs> to, uh, to tell us where these values came from. And you know, I was worried that they were just based on statistics and estimates, and that's, that's what we found. So I'm not any more assured that this is a good plan. It really just rests on this determination that it's safe for development. We've put a lot of houses there too, and that raises the concerns even greater. So, you know, it is kind of a different discussion than it has been before. I think that a new health study would be appropriate, and if Broomfield can help out with that, then I think we should do that. I don't know about local regulations because I just don't want the roadway going this route. Council Member. Mayor Pro Tem Erickson brings up a good point that a new route could be established that goes on the other side of Rocky Flats and that might help out or maybe it's just expanding 93 and 128 to fill in that, that beltway. But um, going through this contaminated, contaminated area is just a no-go in my opinion. Um, I want to know why Dr. Ketter was denied a bucket of soil uh, from JPPH. I, heard one comment about that, but I want to see it for myself. Uh, I'll send you the email. Okay. The original comment was he wanted to test for hemp. I'll send it to you. That's what it was. Well, let him test for hemp then. I mean, fine. There's nothing illegal about that. It's certainly not dangerous. Um, I keep on thinking about this, you know, that coming out of the oil and gas conversation, we broached these same subjects, which was what is safe, how can we allow this to happen? Uh, can we do more? What can we do to stop it? And there was always the state legal authority that was hanging over our heads. And we don't get on this panel, at least I don't, to start breaking laws. You know, we want to follow the laws. But this is totally different. This isn't a private company that's coming in and drilling oil. This is government plans pushing a roadway. And I think those, ch those plans need to change. So we need to figure out where to move from here because it looks like um, funding is at risk. And if funding is at risk, then the question is what happens to the highway authority? What is Broomfield's role on that? And what would the other communities do if we don't, if we stop participating? And we also have contractual obligations too that we have to look at. So there's some more work to be done. It's not just a simple no. Um, and you know, a roadway is a nice community benefit if it's rerouted. But I think we learned a lot here and I, I was hoping to be more reassured because like I said earlier, there are reasonable people, smart people, dedicated, caring people that disagree on this and they have good reasons to, or at least we hope they do. So it was a good respectful conversation and I really like that in the public policy realm. It's kind of rare sometimes. So this was, definitely a healthy thing. And one last thing, I got to throw this out here, is that there's the regulation 460, and the parkway is not subject to that, and it sounds like it's a control act for contaminated areas, and it just blows my mind. I understand the technical reason for it not applying, but, you know, if there's a highway, if there's an area that shouldn't be, or that should be, regulated by that area, it should probably be this one. So it calls into question what the whole reason is for that. Um, I better stop there. I'm a firm no also. Thanks. Okay, Councilmember Beacom. Um, 